Hello class, this is Ma'am Says, signing on. This video lecture will talk about polymorphism in drop with sample program. Let's begin. On your screen is the meaning of polymorphism. It says, polymorphism is often expressed by the phrase one interface, multiple methods, meaning to say it is possible to design a generic interface to a group of related activities. It will then help reduce complexity because of allowing the same interface to be used to specify a general class of action. Another way around, polymorphism is job in Java. Polymorphism in Java is a concept by which you can perform a single action in different ways. So. Polymorphism means many forms. Actually, a Greek word. It's a Greek word meaning many forms. It is a feature that allows one interface to be used for a general class of actions, as I had mentioned earlier. One of the ways that uh, Java implements polymorphism is through method overloading. Uh, we had a video lectures about method overloading, so I hope you know what it is all about. It is um, the process of defining two or more methods within the same class that share the same name, remember? As long as their parameter declarations are different, so it's okay to have the, you know, same class that share the same name. And that's the time we can call them, it is said to have methods that are overloaded. As mentioned earlier, polymorphism means many forms and it occurs when we have many classes that are related to each other by inheritance. Like we specified in the previous video lecture about the inheritance, we inherit the attributes and methods from another class you know the subclass inherit the characteristics of the superclass now polymorphism uses those methods to perform different tasks this allow us to perform a single action in different ways on your screen here we have the sample program of uh, polymorphism so this is our main class here as you can see we have here some declarations which manipulates our subclasses here our classes up here so we have the superclass the animal and then we have the subclass pig and the dog and we use keywords to extend keywords to inherit the characteristics of the superclass here, the animal. So that makes this the inheritance. This is how the inheritance comes in. Now, where is the overload? Yes, you're right. It is the method with a shared name, which is the animal sum. So we have here methods of animal sounds but with different characteristics so that makes the overloading methods now let's go begin with this sample program think of a super class called animal that has a method called animal sound subclasses of animals so we have here the pigs the dogs, you can add cats, birds, whatever animals you like. And they also have their own implementation of an animal sound. So, of course, all of them have has different sound. The pig, the dog, the cats, the birds, and all others. Now we can have the pig and the dog objects here call the animal sound method on both of them this is what makes the polymorphism 
it has many forms and our forms here is manipulated in here in our main class the so-called object-oriented programming or method calling and that ends our discussion hope these codes inspires you as you develop your programming skills and so that's it watch out for more video lectures stay safe and god bless everyone thank you for watching this is mom says signing off